a little background, that's that. Um, we got involved with the Hollywood Theater uh, when uh, a few friends were talking about forming a nonprofit and a board to reopen the theater. I found that interesting. I've, I've been a South Hills boy my whole life, grew up on Green Tree Road and spent a lot of time in Dormont um, through most of my life and always you know, felt like this was a cornerstone of the, cornerstone of the community. Uh, you know, I think any theater can be. It's a great place to gather, um, have fun, build memories, and uh, wanted to see it reopened and hopefully open for many generations to come. I think there's uh, definitely um, a unique feel to it when you walk into a single screen theater and see a balcony and see some of the old art deco. You don't get that in the uh, multiplexes. Uh, you know, I love the multiplexes as well, but it you know it doesn't leave me with uh, you know just the, that special feeling, that special day you might have with your children. Um, you, know, you know, these theaters now it's almost like taking a step back in time when you come to a place like this. Uh, I know my children; they were amazed the first time they came in. They didn't realize movie theaters could look like this. I, I agree, Dormont. Uh, it's a it's a great great community. Um, you know, wonderful people. I've always been impressed by the hard work and, and like you said, the rallying around the community or events. It, the support always seems to be there. Uh, again, I spent a lot of my youth in this area and I've always been impressed by this community. Well, you know, of course the theater should be a great reason to come to, the, come to Dormont, but there's also a lot of other wonderful businesses. Uh, you know, there's some good restaurants, uh, bars with some live music. Uh, you know, the Dormont Pool is, again, a historic place that you're not going to see a swimming pool like that any longer uh, in many places. It, you know, it's just, uh, you know, nice family atmosphere around here. You can walk around, park your car, walk around, and, uh, you know, not, not have to worry about how you're going to get from one business to the next. I think um, in a few ways we're, we're competing strongly with the multiplexes. One would be the ability for filmmakers to rent the Hollywood. We, uh, we've made it very, um, uh, very cost effective to allow independent filmmakers a chance to show their films. You're not going to see that at Carmike or any of the other big places. And in our programming, you know, we're offering a lot of unique movies. Again, you're not going to see on other theater screens. And going back to some of the classics, uh, you know, especially the 80s films right now, it seems like there's a lot of people my age that are enjoying bringing their children to the theater to see The Goonies or something they saw on the big screen. And, uh, you know, I have to say I'm, I'm one of those people. I love bringing the kids here to see that. Well, it's been very rewarding um, working with local filmmakers and seeing them bring their films here to be shown to family, friends, to the general public. Uh, you know, some of my background has been with the Horror Realm Convention in Pittsburgh and I met a lot of those filmmakers and you know, they, they didn't have a place to show it and um, you know, just, just seeing how excited they are and how it's also been a jumping off point for a few of them to get further distribution. I realize how valuable the Hollywood theater can be to independent filmmakers.